Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your reading. This is going to be your own reading, Capricorn. This is about your own life, yeah, and uh, if you're focusing on somebody or, you know, if somebody's really important to you, they're probably going to show up and then we're going to have, you know, uh, most likely here, whatever is like kind of most prevalent here or predominant, I should say, maybe, but uh, we're going to have an extended reading on, you know, on whoever you're interested in in love, right? Right now we have the Earth Pulsing card. Capricorn and you know you're an earth sign so you know it's very fitting yeah and we're super you know uh, what's the word here like uh, formal over here that's why we say fitting right we never say any bad words Capricorn yeah so the earth pulsing here is talking about pulse of the mother we know the mother is the creator right and you know mother mother uh, mother earth yeah and slow down, time in nature. They're showing the waterfall here coming from the beautiful lake, kind of like a cascade. Really, really beautiful here. I feel like it is a cascade, but uh, all tied up. You're all tied up here. You're supposed to take time, slow down, time in nature, and all tied up. So Capricorn, you know, you're too busy with family responsibilities or your job or all of the above right so you know you're not supposed to do that capricorn you're not all right you're supposed to kind of you know uh find balance in your life all right so let's let's see what we have and uh yeah i'm not talking to you guys like i'm uh, just kind of having fun here let's see what else we have let's get some more oracle cards for capricorn and this is not supposed to be for your person you know but if you guys are like the capricorns i know somebody's going to show up here right yeah you guys know what i mean by the capricorns i know just teasing. Let's see what we got from the little vampires. We have enlightenment and inspiration, epiphany, and innovation. Okay, so you're being enlightened on something or illuminated. Uh, you're finding out about something possibly, uh, but you could also be finding out like innovation, how to do things faster, quicker, and better, right? We know that uh, comes from the Latin verb uh, root, something nouveau, something like that. It means like kind of doing things newer or better right innovation mm -hmm. so let's see what else we have for uh capricorn let's see what else we have for capricorn let's get a card here from uh, from this deck here waiting on some new cards yeah i always like to get new cards because it's exciting right keeps it really fun let's see what else we have for uh for just for capricorn and we have the card of the observer so you're watching or somebody's watching you and let's see what else we have. Or you got a new telescope, Capricorn, either one, right? Maybe maybe you got some toys. Earth signs are into possessions for sure. You got, I might have got a telescope. I feel like I want to get one. Uh, let's see what we have, though. <laughs> let's see what else we have for uh, Capricorn. And we have the card of flexible. Maybe you need to be flexible here because you're all tied up. <laughs> Showing up right here, yeah. So let's get into the reading here and... Uh, Let's go ahead and put these rings on uh, so I don't have such plain fingers, right? Let's, see, let's look at the heart of the matter for you, Capricorn. We look at the heart of the matter twice is what we do, is how we do it. Show me the heart of the matter for Capricorn, the heart of the matter. And it is. We're taking only, we're taking things in the, uh, in the upright. This looks like the death card. It is. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is the death card and, you know... The heart of the matter, I feel like you're ending something here. And if you're not ending something entirely, you are like slowing down. And maybe that means an ending of some sort. Maybe just an ending to an energy. Like I'm not going to be, you know, because you're all tied up here. But you are, I feel like maybe you are inspired by a situation here. You might have know of something though, enlightenment and epiphany. You might have found out about something is one maybe why you have to end something. Let's find out here. Let's get into the reading and put this up here. And let's look at your cards, your you know, your tarot cards. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Show me the energy for Capricorn. Maybe you're observing to kind of like know your next move in order to slow down because you're all tied up. It could be. Mm-hmm. See what else we have for Capricorn. And the heart of the matter for you within this, you know, in this reading here, Seven of Swords, OMG. You could be ending something because somebody's sneaky. Yeah. Or you are planning to end something and it's kind of on the down low, right? Let's keep it on the down low because nobody has to know. 
Six of Swords, you look like you're planning on leaving a situation. Queen of Pentacles, that's you, Capricorn. The World card reversed is going to be, uh, you know, this is your highest expectations or your goal. You might have unfinished business with somebody. The World card, Knight of Pentacles is here. You're showing up so much in your reading, Capricorn. You must be feeling really good about yourself. Yeah, you, you are. And that's a good thing. Energy's coming soon. The High Priestess reversed. OMG. How other people are affecting you is the lovers. Somebody could be making a choice here. And the hopes, your hopes and fears is the Two of Cups. So you are in love with somebody here, Capricorn. Yeah, there's ten cards and nine cards here. And this, you know, the Two of Cups is here right away. Uh, you know, within 78 cards. I feel like you're in love with somebody for sure. And you're hoping for that. So let's get into the reading. Because this reading has a lot to say. For sure it does, right? And let's see what we have for the Seven of Swords. This is supposed to be the heart of the matter here. The Eight of Cups, OMG, and the Six of Swords here. This is leaving and leaving. Leaving emotionally, leaving because maybe there's problems and issues with the Six of Swords. I feel like you got this last time, like double leaving. Seven of Cups. You look like you're making a really hard choice to leave somebody because they were sneaky or because... Maybe you want to escape the situation. Maybe you just, you're just planning, possibly, quietly. And let's see. Two of Swords. I feel like you don't know if somebody has options here and if you should leave them. I feel like that's the case. Let's look at the Six of Swords. Ace of Cups. Four of Swords. You just look like you might want to heal something with somebody, but for sure here you want to leave. Like you're making, you are, uh, you could be not so sure that you're going to leave somebody. I feel like you're not so sure if somebody has options. Yeah, if somebody's sneaking behind your back. I feel like that's the heart of the matter for you here. Let's look at the heart of the matter with this other deck. OMG, right? Which is the death card. So you're not sure if either... Maybe they left you, or if you should leave them. I feel like it's about you leaving them. This is why the Observer card is here. Like, you're trying to pay attention here. Yeah, you are. I feel like you're trying to be flexible in your thoughts, too. Like, you know, don't jump to conclusions that, you know. And time to slow down. Let's get a card on the Death card uh, with the Mini Tarot. Why is that there? The Mini Nouveau deck. Why is that there? And this is going to be your the heart of the matter for you. And we have the Queen. Looks like the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. Reverse, not in the reversed. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else we have. And this is the World card in the reverse. And you have the World card in the reverse here. There's unfinished business you have with somebody. You could be all tied up to them on some level. But you could be concerned if they are all tied up. Because next to the all tied up card is inspiration and enlightenment, like epiphany. I feel like that's what you're observing. I feel like you are trying to enlighten yourself. That's what this is about. And right here, Queen of Swords, maybe you, you know, I feel like you're a little bit bitchy about the situation. Like, you know, like you don't trust somebody, maybe. But maybe you don't, maybe they're an air sign because of the Queen of Swords. Where is she? Right here, <laughs> in the reverse. Could be dealing with an air sign. The world card is here in the reverse twice. There's unfinished business with somebody. This is totally true. Yeah, or relevant, or, you know, at least for whoever this is resonating. And let's put this over here and move the world card up. Yeah. So your crossing energy here is, I feel like you're wondering if you should leave, maybe if they have a new beginning in love. I'm not sure yet. You might be thinking you can't have a new beginning in love with somebody, uh, maybe because they have options right here. I feel like this is definitely what you're thinking about. This could be about you making a hard choice to leave somebody because you thought they were sneaky. Could be as well. Why is that two of swords there? And the Hierophant reversed. 
you could be like at a stalemate, kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen here. If somebody's going to leave their marriage as well. I feel like that could be it. It could be about a Taurus, maybe. We have the Queen and the Knight of Pentacles in the reading. Let's see your crossing energy one more time. Five of Swords. You might be in despair here. I just feel like you're trying to figure out what to do if you should really leave somebody. Or if somebody's walking away from another union. We're going to find out as we go. Yeah, you guys know that song by Tavares. Like, Who done it? Who stole my baby? So I still can't sing, you guys. And I still have this voice, yeah, which is getting really upsetting, right? Yeah, because it's making me think that this is going to be my all-time voice. So let's continue here, you guys, and energies that are coming into play, like Pronto, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, wow. Eight of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign here. And you feel all tied up. That's what the Eight, eight of Swords is, all tied up here. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of this. This could be about, you know, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but this could be about you making a decision. I feel like it's about you making a decision. Yeah, I feel like it is. And this is why you have enlightenment, inspiration, and epiphany. Like, I need an answer. Epiphany. An observer. So let's see what else we have for you. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going back and forth. It's about a decision here. Or you're going back and forth about an air sign that maybe you feel like there's no way out, maybe, but just to walk away from them. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be any sign. It could be. And energies that are uh, high, your highest expectations is the World card, Unfinished Business with the Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card. I feel like this is your goal. You have unfinished business with somebody, and you want things to work out. Maybe you want somebody to even get a divorce. I'm saying that because the Hierophant is here, and the Justice card, and the Death card is in the reading, and things like that. This could be about a Libra, right? Could be. Let's see what we have. And the Nine of Cups. Your highest expectations. There's unfinished business here, right, with somebody. But I just feel like you are trying to get justice with somebody. I feel like that's what this is about. Like, if I can't have justice with them, I don't really maybe want to partake. It could be third-party energy here. But I feel like you want justice with somebody. And this is somebody you're really in love with, Capricorn. Nine of Cups, right? Super in love, super duper. And showing up in your... Hopes and fears, right? Yeah. So let's see what else we have. And energies that are leaving you is the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. This could be third-party energy that you put a stop to. Like you put an end to. You could have right here. Like you could have walked, as I was saying that earlier in the reading, you look like you walked away twice, Capricorn. Right? You could have walked away twice. Uh... You could be right here, like, I feel like you're trying to figure out here if they have options. Mm -hmm. You might have already walked away from them. But the point about it is that I feel like this is third-party energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're, you're reflecting on this. This is what you're doing. That's why you have the Observer card. You feel all tied up about this person. You might not have come to a conclusion, but I feel like they put you in a bitchy way. Like they put you in this kind of grouchy, kind of fight back, uh, maybe turned off even, but some type of energy where you're like, eh, mm-hmm. Your highest expectations here is that maybe you could have victory. Yeah, you could have justice with this person. Maybe they'll get a divorce even for some of you guys, but... Uh, right now, you're not feeling the justice. No, you're not. I don't feel it. That's why you have all tied up. So let's look at the Three of Cups here and Nine of Swords. You're worried about this person. Energy is leaving you. You are worried. You wanted to reunite with them. I also feel like you're worried about that they're in a third party. Like you're worried about that. Yeah, King of Pe Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords. You're worried that they have somebody else. That's why you're over here. Like, you know, I feel like you either left them or you could be concerned if they're going to leave somebody else. But in this reading, you might be concerned if they have other options as well. It's a possibility here. And you could be down here, you know, in these energies down here, which are 
uh, coming into play. You still don't know maybe if they're going to make a decision to leave somebody because this is about an ending. The death card's here. Queen of Swords. I feel like you want somebody to end something and you're angry. I feel like you're angry to a certain degree. And hurt. I just feel like you, you might, you know, you want them to leave somebody. I feel like you could have already left them because of it, but you also might think that they have options. Energy is coming soon is the High Priestess reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. So you have some, um, you know, opportunity here for something really tangible and solid, something you can, you know, kind of hold in your hands. This is anything fly by night. Could be long term opportunity for something long term. They're showing the path there for a reason. And the High Priestess card reversed with the Queen of Cups. So you know, maybe your person is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or maybe if you're dealing, if you are indeed dealing, you know. If this is about somebody else, they could have this high priestess. But this can be uh, a secret is being uh, kind of known. Somebody might not be using their intuition here. Not, not, might not be trusting themselves. Ten of Cups, trusting source, sun card. So these are the energies that are coming soon. You might have clarity here. Maybe a secret's being kind of, uh, yeah, enlightenment, epiphany. I feel like a secret's coming out here. Mm -hmm. I feel like a secret could be exposed soon or some type of revelation here that you're going to have a new beginning with this person. You're going to get clarity. The lover is, is how other people affect you with the Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So you, you might think that they kind of cut, cut you out or they made you cut them out, right? You could have took fast action on them. Uh, this is how they're affecting you, but they could have like broke your heart here. Maybe about another lover. Maybe about a choice. This is how they're affecting you. They could be, they could be making you take fast, take some fast action here. Maybe, maybe you left them kind of in a whim. Maybe you got on the phone with them or something. You're like, you know what? S screw this. Because there is this kind of energy in this reading. Like I'm not trusting things here, and uh, you are really concerned about this person, about whether or not they are being true to you, or maybe whether or not they're going to leave somebody. And here, you know, how they are affecting you. They could be making you take some fast action. Maybe because they broke your heart, because, you know, you thought they had a lover. I mean, this energy can, can be kind of involved here. Let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. One more card for how they are affecting you or other people. Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're dealing with somebody from their past, too. The Four of Wands is how you are affecting them with the full card. This looks like you're making them take a chance on you. Totally. Because this is what you want in this reading. You want this person to be with you, but you're not, like, trusting them. You could have already walked away from them. Let's see what this is talks about. Slow down, time and nature. Mm-hmm. And your hopes and fears is the Two of Cups in the Tower. So you're in love with somebody, but you're hoping, you're fearing the Tower here. That's what you're doing. You love them, you want them, you're hoping for the Two of Cups. You're fearing the Tower. You're afraid this is going to be over, like over, all the way over. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're hoping, you know, that either they're going to choose you or you're going to walk together, or you're going to, you know, be together. Mm -hmm. I feel like this has to do with the choice to some degree. Yeah, I do. And we have the Four of Pentacles. You're hoping you're going to hold on to this person. You could be hoping maybe they're going to end another situation with the Tower. We're going to find out all about this person, Capricorn, for sure. And we're going to look at the past between you guys, the issues at hand, how they feel about you, what they want, what they fear, and what they are hiding or what you don't know about them. Thank you so much, uh, Capricorn. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And all the extensions are super affordable.